What's up? You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Just walk away. Y'all really want to die over this bridge? Time to die. You ain't done yet. This is how you'll drop. This is how we're gonna start. You just killed my horse. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Shots. Back here. <laughs> the hell is he? Oh dear, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to drop you down there. I didn't want to fall down myself. You, Mr. Thomas Down. What's up, buddy? You owe me money. Uh, oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Where's my money? That debt weighs on me heavily. It's going to be paid. That's not going to do it. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? How dare you? Certainly, would you? <laughs> Please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care. I don't Give care me my money. Give me my money. You'd been good. This wouldn't be happening. Where's my money? If you want what? If you want the money, you'll have to wait. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't. Shut up. I want my money. Reasonable. Oh, I am. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! Do I need to beat you two? Looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. But I do want that hat, though. That hat will, uh, be good enough. Oh, look, it's my other horse. Am I really going back to camp? Of course I am. Where else would I go? Oh, 
We really just beat a sick man. Oh boy. We are really good men. Am I a good man? He probably has Ligma. this all right be cool tell him we didn't get anything from the guy we tried ah how did you get on not so good he's almost dead and they seem more or less destitute you were a fool for lending them the money well people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions fair enough was that it What did I do? This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. E. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you old know enough to I suck did? this you dick. You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. I mean, I might be an idiot. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance. He's, he's a, a lover. Cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just off the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. Okay. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> love you. By marriage. Whatever that means. Really? Right. Really. Arthur, lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Why me? Oh, fine. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. No, oh, that bear encounter was nothing. Well, let's go grab this. No, I couldn't. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. My strong can. Yes, but you know how this works. Hey, my strong can. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. Sure. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Whoa! So what's the story with yeah. that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. 
owner's a nasty type by all accounts. That's not saying much. Hey, wait up. Are you kidding me? So, what were you talking about before? There's nothing strange about the place. Did you murder this guy? What the fuck, Hosea? Get back on your horse. What did you Hosea! You're here now, let's just get it over with. What the hell, Hosea? So, just... who was saying? Used to be a saloon there. Just... General store. Now it's all closed up. But they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Reach around. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. Ooh, did he? Oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Hmm. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Yeah, I was way ahead of you, Hosea. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. For me. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the place. Gotcha. The place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can drive the house. Or wait until morning, and I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Nah, let's do it now. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Oh, Press the wrong button. You think you can rob us? No, 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 no. For every time I've been asked that. Let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. But I was gonna rob. Around here. Come on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Yep. Yeah, we just murder people after they told us not to murder them. Shit, there's a man coming. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation here. La 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 la. Oh dear. Going for the law. Do something. Crying out loud. Where is he? You have to stop him. Use your talents, Arthur. Why aren't we on the damn road? God damn it! Fucking horse! Come on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Yep. Shit, there's a man coming. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation. What the hell are you shooting at? Well, I guess he can't tell the law now. Bitch. Okay, let's get going. Yeah. Could have done this without killing anyone. It worked out. We got everything we needed. 
That's not the point. It might not have... What if there were more people around we didn't know about? We could deal with them, too. All right. Fine, it's done now. Let's just get back to Ammo Branch and turn this in. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I didn't kill anyone. I only killed one person. You killed two people, Jose. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, Got sixty-five dollars worth of shit. Right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand-pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. You a little bitch. Exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet. Slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. What's up? Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. I know how to do things. No oh, train's coming. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. Mm. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah, I, I might as well. Sure. Let's go. 